in site assessment funding through its brownfield redevelopment fund and to invest investigate the other 54 acre of the property. The Department of Housing and Community Development, DHCD, uh, has also worked with Springfield Redevelopment Authority uh, in an expedited review uh, to see if uh, we can uh, get approval for an urban renewal plan for the project. And this has provided the city with flexibility in procurement, funding, and site assembly, key factors to the success of the project. Other agencies have also played a critical role in making sure that the project goes forward. This includes the expedited MEPA review overseen by the Executive Office of Energy and Environmental Affairs. It also includes a $200,000 commitment uh, by Mass DEP through a $1 million EPA coalition grant awarded last May to conduct assessment at other priority sites throughout the city of Springfield. Uh, we would not be here celebrating this milestone if it were not for the EPA. In addition to the $1 million coalition grant funding uh, through Mass DEP, the EPA is providing $900,000 in revolving loan funds to pay for demolition work we see here today. And that funding is coming through the EPA to the Pioneer Valley Planning Commission. And so I've mentioned a whole bunch of government agencies at the state, local and federal level, and then the private sector doing its part. But these are complex projects, and that's why we need the expertise uh, at the table in facilitating and moving these forward. But we know what the end result will be. A contaminated property cleaned up, expansion of tax base, and additional revenue for the city of Springfield so that it can continue to provide important services and jobs, 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 jobs.